Hey friends, Rudy Vasquez here from RudyVasquez.com and welcome to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to go over a style sheet missing error that WordPress seems to give you sometimes when you try to install a theme. And I ran across this problem today, so I thought let's make a quick little video and, you know, if I'm having this problem, other people are having this problem as well and, you know, what other than to help other people. So, today we're just going to show you how to correct this error and it actually happens because there are multiple folders well most of the time right it actually happens because there are multiple folders inside the zip file you downloaded before getting to the actual theme files where the style sheet is located WordPress looks for your style sheet within the root folder of the zip file you uploaded and if it's not there then it will say it's broken so we fix this by moving the zip file of whatever theme you're trying to install into WordPress onto your desktop and zipping that file onto your desktop look within that zip file for your themes folder after you get the themes folder you want to drag it into WP content slash themes folder in your hosting so I'm gonna show you how to do this right now and you just need two tools WinRAR and FileZilla I'll give you the URLs to download that in my description box below so let me show you how it looks like so like I said, move your theme file onto your desktop. You want to unzip the file onto your desktop. Go into that file, look for the theme file, and you want to drag that into your WP content, right? Slash themes file in your hosting. And drag it in there. So make sure it's not put into a folder or any other directory because then it just won't work and WordPress won't read it and you get the error all over again. I mean, you wouldn't even get an error, you wouldn't even see it, period. So, put it in there and that's it, you guys, it's really that simple. Unzip file, look for the themes folder within that file, transfer that to your WP content slash themes file and that's it, it's simple, just make sure you don't put it into any other folder and you're pretty much all set. So I hope this helped somebody out there. Make sure to subscribe on the button below. And make sure to check out my other YouTube videos within my channel as well. Have an awesome day and see you again soon.